How to create a manual repository using Dell EMC Repository Manager version 3. After you've opened Repository Manager, very simple just to go to the Add Repository button and select it. Give your repository a name. In this case, we'll call it Data Center 2. And the default is the Enterprise Server Catalog. If you've loaded another catalog that you would prefer to use, it's very simple to just select that and you'll see any other catalog that, that you have uh, al already loaded. And you could select one of those. You can see repository creation type, manual, inventory, if you're using chassis management controller and you've exported the inventory, or if you're reintegrating with one of our Dell EMC tools like Open Manage Essentials or Open Manage Integration for VMware vCenter or Integration for Microsoft System Center. But we'll, we'll do man, manual for this particular exercise. So the first thing that you'll do is, is select your systems. And if you wanted all the systems in the catalog, then you could just very simple, just select that and be done. But we have, data, we have our data center and we know exactly what it is that we have inside. So we'll choose our systems. Selecting our line of business, which is of course PowerEdge. And you'll see now that you're presented back with a list of all the PowerEdge systems that are available. So let's, let's add R330, R620, 630, and 640. And you'll notice that each time that you select one of these, it moves over to the right-hand side so you can see what, what you have selected. And if you decide that, gee, I, I made a mistake or I selected something wrong, uh, very simple just to come up and hit delete. And now that R330 is no longer there. And, but I forgot to add R740XDs. So very easy way for you to, to select and de-select what, what platforms are inside your, your data center. Select Save. Next is Operating Systems. And again, you can select all operating systems or custom. And since we, again, know our data center, we'll select Choose Operating Systems. And we're going to select Windows 64 as our, uh, as our dupe for format. If I had Linux, I could just easily select Linux as well. But one of the important new features within Repository Manager version 3 is that now you're presented back with, here are all the operating systems that are, that are present inside of Repository Manager that it can, that it can work, work with. And where this really helps us is when you get to device drivers, which are generally operating system specific. And so within our data center, we've standardized on Windows Server 2012 R2. If I'd also put in some 2016, I can easily select, select that. Or I can also deselect if I, if I wanted to. So the same behavior type that you have in, you know, selecting platforms is the same behavior type here. So let's just say two, 2012 R2 is what we've standardized on, and that's what, what's, what's in our data center. And again, like I said, you can have as many or as few as you want. You hit save. Next comes components. And again, you can select all component types or we can hit custom, which allows us to be more, more selective. And this is a 
another important change that we've made in Repository Manager. So we would like to our repository to have firmware, BIOS, and of course drivers. If we wanted to select all, we could just hit select all and they would all be moved over. But one of the important things is that we, we know the types of devices that we have inside of our data center. So this makes it a little bit easier and smarter. So we'll hit network since we know that we have networking and you'll see that it moves over to the right hand side. In SAS RAID we know that we have. We don't have any SATA drives and we have no SAS non-RAID but we want to make sure we pick up IDRAC. We know that we don't have tape drives and, and ESM uh, devices. So we want to hit BIOS and chipset that we know we have. So there you have an easier way for you to selectively grab categories of, of update files. Whereas in the past with Repository Manager, you would have built the repository and then gone in after the fact and deleted all the tape drives and all the other things that are, that are not uh, relevant. And of course, we'll hit Save. And now we're done. If we, would, if we wanted to, we could go back and, and choose and change any of our settings if, if we wish to. And we'll hit Add. And you'll see that very quickly, Data Center 2 has been created. And you'll see here are the four the four bundles that, that we have created as part of Data Center 2. So there you have how to easily create a manual repository using Dell Repository Manager version 3.